Okay, so now we've got the method to go and resize our image and we can output a blob into our console, but obviously we want to take this a step further and get this resized image all the way up to our API. And what we'll do is we'll head back to VS Code and we'll start in our agent.ts file. And we need a method to upload an image. Now this is going to be slightly different to any of our previous Axios requests because we need to get form data and send this up to our API. So we can't use our simple little response body in this case. We're going to need to use Axios directly inside here, but that's absolutely fine. So what we'll do is we'll add a method to upload photo. And this is going to take a file and we're going to use the any type. And in fact, we can use blob here because that's what it is. So we can be accurate in this case. And inside here, we're going to say let's form data equal new form data. And then we can say form data dot append. And we can pass in the name of what we're appending. Now this again needs to match the name of the property in our API and I called it file. And that's what we need to specify it here. And then we can pass in our file as what we're passing up. And then we can return axios dot post and then we can specify photos. And then we can pass in the form data. And then we add a comma and we pass in any configuration we want here. And we'll need to add to our headers and open up curly brackets and we're going to specify content dash type followed by a colon and then say multi parts forward slash form dash data. Be super careful here when we're using strings we get no type safety at all and make sure your spelling is accurate in things like this otherwise you'll get an error it'll be hard to track down because you don't get any type safety so be super careful when it comes to typing in any strings in this application. So now we have this in place, let's go across to our profile store and add the function inside here. So just below our load profile, let's add a method to upload photo and it's going to be async and we're going to take a file of type blob for this. And we'll specify this and we need a flag to say that we're uploading. So let's add another property in our store and we'll call it uploading and we'll give this an initial value of false. And then we can say this uploading equals true. And then we'll add our try catch block and we'll say catch and error and we'll say console.log and error and then we'll just say run in action and we'll turn off our loading flag. So we say this uploading equals false. And inside the try block, we'll say const response equals await and agent.profiles.upload photo and pass up the file. And because we're not getting the response body that we created earlier, then what we'll do is we'll say const photo equals response.data. And if we take a look at the type for photo, then this is a type of any. So what we should do is go back to our agent file and for our axios.post, we can specify that this is going to return a type of photo from our API. And if we go back to our profile store, then we can see that our photo is now a type of photo. So then what we want to do is modify our properties inside our profile store. So we're going to do this inside a run in action, just as we've done before. And what we're going to do is check to make sure that we've got a profile. So we're going to say if this dot profile, just to avoid the warnings that we're obviously going to get because our profile type can be either a profile or it can be null. So we'll make sure that we've got a profile. And if we have, what we'll do is we'll say list dot profile dot photos dot push and we'll pass up our photo. What we also need to do is check to see if the photo that we're getting back is the main photo. And if it is, then we're going to want to set our user object in the user store, as well as the profile image that's part of the profile object. 
So what we'll do inside here, we'll add another if statement and we'll say if photo dot is main and the store dot user store dot user then what we'll do inside here is say store dot user store and we don't currently have a method to set a user's image inside there so let's open up our user store and what we'll do is we'll just add a helper method inside here to set an image for the user and we'll just call it set image and we'll take in the image as a type of string and we'll say list.user dot image equals image and of course the user could be null so we need to wrap this around an if statement as well so we'll say if list.user then we'll specify this user image in fact we don't need the curly brackets we can do this all on one line and because we're checking to see if we've got a user we don't need the optional chaining operator there so with this in place we can head back to our profile store and we can say store.user store set image and we can pass in the photo dot url and what we'll also do is say this dot profile dot image equals photo dot url and below all of these if statements we can say this dot uploading equals false and then we've got the same action going on here as well in the error so all we're doing here really is we're just updating the photo in several places if it's the main photo because we want our user interface to react when the user does have a photo that is their main photo whether that's the first photo that they upload or whether later on they decide to change the image they use as their main photo so what we could do then is we can head back to our profile photos component because this is where we're going to want to add our upload photo function so what we'll do inside here we're going to add a function and we're going to say handle photo upload and we'll pass in a file and this is going to be a blob and then we'll need to bring in our upload photo method from the store and then we can say upload photo and pass our file and we also want to turn off the add photo mode as well so what we'll do is we'll use len and in this callback function we'll say set add photo mode and we'll set this to false and we also want to get our uploading flag from the store as well because we're going to pass that to our photo widget so that we can display a loading indicator on the buttons so what we'll do is we'll pass both of these to our photo upload widget and we'll say upload photo equals handle photo upload and we'll pass a loading indicator and we'll say uploading as that property and then we can go back to our photo upload widget and we can pass these properties to the photo upload widget so we'll create an interface called props and we'll say loading is a boolean and we'll have upload photo which takes the file as a type of blob and returns void and then we can destructure these properties inside our parameters here so we'll say loading and upload photo and destructure these from the props almost there so let's go down to our on crop function and what we want to do after we've converted our cropped image to a blob then we're going to want to use our upload photo function so we'll say upload photo and pass our blob as the parameter there and it's given us an error here telling us that argument of type blob or null is not assignable to the parameter of type blob and we're just going to use the exclamation mark to get around that to say that yep we're pretty sure this is not going to be null at this point and then what we can do we can just go down to our buttons and the button for the check mark we're going to give this the loading indicator so we're going to say loading equals loading 
And for the close one, then we're just gonna disable it while we're uploading. So we're gonna say disabled equals loading. And now we should be able to go and test our functionality. And of course, what we wanna see here is the end-to-end -end functionality. We wanna drag an image into our photo widget. We wanna be able to crop it. And then when we check on the icon, of course, we want this to upload to our API and of course, Cloudinary. So let's pick another Batman photo and I'll just resize it and click on the green check mark. And we get a successfully uploaded image, nice and squared inside our images component or our photos component. Excellent. Now we've got another couple of tasks to go. We need our logged in user to be able to set one of these photos as their main photo and of course delete any photos they no longer want to keep. And we'll take a look at that next.